I am Hori Suzu. I'm a traditional Japanese tattooer based here in Portland, Oregon. What I think is most unique about the Japanese tattoo is the imagery would be the first thing. The, the motifs are things pulled from Japanese culture. So dragons, tigers, heroes, gods, demons. The second th aspect of that I think would be the amount of body that it covers. Your body is meant to just convey really one story. So you have one image, central image on your back, and then your arms are kind of secondary images to that main story. Japanese full body tattoo was just so beautiful that when I saw it, I was just taken aback and that's really what first attracted me to it. I, I traveled to Japan, um, got tattooed by my master and I asked him uh, to be his apprentice and after asking enough times he obviously saw something in me and thought I might have what it takes and then took me on as a as an apprentice. My master is Ryugen Sensei of Tokyo Japan. He's been tattooing for a couple decades now. He was so giving with his time and with his knowledge that he really sat down with me and, and helped me to, to understand the cultural context of the story and the hidden meaning behind the story, the hero or you know, the mythology, understanding what the story was. My name is Joshua Evan. I'm a dentist in Portland, Oregon. We've recently completed um, the two sleeves that we have been working on, and we're going to be starting probably later next year um, on my back piece. So right now I'm just uh, recoloring this section. It's kind of hard to see, but there's just the faintest little loss of black in there. The technique that I use is tabori. It's the technique of traditional Japanese tattooing. We are manipulating by hand the needles and putting the ink into skin that way. And so through the thrusting motions and the fluttering motions, we can create the gradations and the solid fields of color that the tattoo machines do, but obviously we're doing it by hand. All of my clients come usually with a base idea. They have an idea of they want this image or this hero. Those stories I have to translate into the Japanese tattoo icono iconography. The first thing I wanted to do was um, to have the, the medical symbol of the snake around the rod um, because I'm a, a dentist. So I wanted something that reminded me of my profession uh, and I always and I wanted the symbology of the, the skull um, both for sort of the anatomical representation of it. I'm very familiar with the head and the, you know the teeth that was kind of my thing. So Hori Suzu designed this piece to have that as the central image. I added the peonies which always go with the snake um, and then I also added a willow leaf uh, staff that has secondary meaning in that it was used in old Japan um, to heal people. It was kind of like a talisman for healing. So that really tied into what he was thinking of with originally. The imagery that I come up with for, for my tattoo designs is really just part of a longer lineage. My master, his master, they've all sourced the same imagery from Japanese culture. So my, most of my designs are sourced from my master. He's given me designs and told me the stories and that's how I've gotten that information. That's how it's been transmitted through the generations. Usually right around 10 to 12 years to complete a full body suit. With all of my clients, I, I have this bond that we've spent so much time together and I'm such a part of their life and they become such a part of my life that that's why the Japanese tattoo, I feel like, has such an immense draw uh, to a lot of people is because it is a long-term commitment. It does take a long time to complete, but that journey is just as important as the end result.